In this video, we'll be talking about composition of functions and domain. The domain of f composition g is the set of all numbers x in the domain of g such that g of x is in the domain of f. Let's let f of x equal 5 divided by x plus 4 and g of x equal 2 divided by x. And we're asked to find f composition g of x and its domain. Now let's find our composition function first. We put x into g and then that into f. So we'll start writing f first. And we have 5 over. And then in place of x, we'll write 2 over x. And then continue writing our f. So this is f composition g. Let's simplify this complex fraction. We can multiply the top and the bottom by x. So in the numerator, I have 5x. And in the denominator, when I distribute, this first term, my x's will cancel, and I'll have 2. And then when I distribute the x here, I have 4x. So this is my composite function. Now let's do the domain of this one. We want the domain of g. And that's just going to be uh, all real numbers except x cannot equal 0. And then we want the domain of our composite function combined with that. We can't have this equal to 0, this denominator. So 2 plus 4x cannot equal 0. Subtract 2 from both sides. So 4x cannot equal negative 2. Divide by 4. So x cannot equal a negative 1 half. So my domain of my composition function is these two restrictions. So let's write those on interval notation. So I'll do all negative numbers up to negative one-half, but not including that. And then we'll pick up on the other side of negative one-half and do all numbers up to zero, and then pick up on the other side of zero, and then do all numbers up to positive infinity. This is our domain. Do another one with those same functions. This time let's find g composition f of x and its domain. So we'll start writing our g function, which is 2 over, and then in place of x we'll put in our f function.
And we need to simplify this complex fraction. Let's multiply top and bottom of it by x plus 4. That'll cancel this off. So we have, uh, let's distribute 2x and then plus 8 over, and then all we have left here is the 5. So this is our composition function. And then we want the domain of f so x plus 4 cannot equal 0 which means x cannot equal negative 4 and then as far as our composition function um, we don't have any possibility of the zero in the denominator, so my domain is just going to be the domain of f. So in interval notation that is negative infinity up to negative 4, union negative 4 to infinity.